Curious about the red flags guys reveal on dating apps to let you know something's off? Want to know the things you can spot fast so you can preserve your sanity and move on to the next? I've got those 10 red flags coming to you right now. Hey everyone, I'm dating and relationship coach Ryan Patrick. So today, I thought it would be super practical to talk about dating apps and all the common themes of misrepresentation you'll most likely run into. Now, most if not all of you are trying to represent yourselves accurately to the best of your ability. You've got nothing to hide, so why should anybody else, right? Well, unfortunately, most of these apps are completely free to use, so you just end up with a lot of unserious men. But I'm gonna lay out several ways you can instantly spot them. But first, if you're new to my channel and you want reliable coaching on dating men in concise, bite-sized portions that are easy to understand, just click subscribe below and make sure to turn on all notifications to receive all of my new content and to help me out significantly with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for your support. It helps my channel out in ways you may not realize. Lastly, I need your help in creating new content on this channel. From this point moving forward, I'm prioritizing all my content that I make here by those of you who fill out my brief five to 10 minute survey about what content is gonna serve you best right now. Just go to a new tab on your browser real quick and go to boyfriendblueprint.com survey or click the link in the description below and fill it out. And please leave a good email address for you so I can communicate with you directly once I create content that matches exactly what you're looking for. That's boyfriendblueprint.com slash survey. Now, onto those dating app red flags men give you. I'm gonna lead with my best tip to frame this entire video. Most men on free dating apps aren't looking for anything serious. Why? Because it comes down to basic economics. More times than not, you get exactly what you pay for. If you pay nothing, then it has no value to you. So now let's say the cost of the dating app goes from $0 a month to $5 a month. Even in that $5 jump, you're gonna flush out so many men that are not serious at all, and you're gonna end up with a smaller crop of guys that are semi-serious. They pay a little bit more than that, they're gonna get more serious. Why? Because it's hurting their wallet in order to stay in the game. You with me? Okay. Here are the 10 dating app red flags you need to watch for the next time you're swiping. The first red flag is the bare minimum profile. If you're just going off looks and you're not really looking at his profile, this will backfire and catch up with you soon. If he says something like, I just had to fill in enough characters to post a profile, or wanna know, just ask. This is a guy that wants everything to come easily to him. So just make sure there's some substance there, something that you can connect with him on before you attempt to match with him. The second red flag is the political or religious rant. I'll admit, this is an approach I don't totally disagree with. If you see one of these long political or religious rants on his profile, he could be attempting to screen out a woman that doesn't hold his political or religious views. So if they don't match up with yours, move on. So sure, you're not supposed to talk about politics and religion on the first date. I don't necessarily agree with that. So it's only a red flag if you disagree with what he's saying. But I've done things like this on my dating profile back in my 20s when I was single, and it was very effective. It showcased my intellect and also attracted the right girls to me. But I wanted to acknowledge this one here so you understand what's going on when you see political and religious things. The third red flag is the negative slant. If you're reading his profile and he's completely bashing the app that you're on, or you see a list of things he doesn't want to find in a woman, beware. Now, it can be much easier to connect with people on negative issues, but if there are no positives to highlight, he could be jaded or angry. He's giving you a little glimpse of his personality when he writes these negative things to you, so take note. The fourth red flag is the bathroom flex photo. How many times can a woman see this one? Seriously. What is he really trying to convey to you here? Or is it not about you at all and all about him, especially when he took it? He didn't take this photo for you. Come on. He took this photo for him, but he needed a photo of himself on his dating app profile. So there you go. So if you see this pic of him flexing in the bathroom or gym, and especially if it's the only photo on this profile, girl, run. The fifth red flag is the purposefully dated photo. 
I've worked with tons of one-on-one -on -one clients over the years, and when they ask me to examine their prospects on their dating apps of who's straightforward and who is not, this is one of the worst red flags I see. Track with me now. If you're on your app and you see a really good looking guy with a nice tan, and it's clearly summertime, this photo is at least six months old. At least. But was it last summer? Or the summer before that? Or the summer before that? Or the summer before that? Question everything that you see. And if you like him, make sure he can verify everything. The sixth red flag is the boring opener. Hey, what you doing? Been on this app long? Ladies, this is the best it's ever gonna get with this guy. His opener is his one chance to shine and get your attention. But did he do that? I didn't think so. You're dealing with a straight vanilla dude if you pursue this guy. No sprinkles, God forbid hot fudge, vanilla. I don't care if he's hot. You'll have the hot boyfriend that bores the death out of you and everyone that you know. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. The seventh red flag is the breadcrumbing I'm busy boy. Sorry. I was on my two-week safari saving the Ethiopian wolf. How you been? You're gorgeous. I'm totally taking you out next week. I can tell you're the marrying type. You're just too good for me. No dates, no consistency. You follow me? Ladies, let the concrete actions by men be the thing that guides you to where and with whom you spend your time not these empty words. The eighth red flag is the pushy Snapchat guy. Hey, let's jump over to Snap where we can get to know each other better. Hey, what's your Snap? Why haven't you accepted me on Snap yet? It isn't about you or getting to know you a little bit beforehand. Just tell him you don't want to Snap right away and to chill out. And usually this guy has an agenda, so let him flutter away. The ninth red flag is the rude or controlling message. Where you been? Why haven't you reached out to me? You either go out with me this Saturday night, or I'm done talking to you. Oof, the boy done lost his mind. Never put up with this crap, okay? If you notice a guy trying to force a conversation, or persuade you to do something that you don't want to do, cut off communication. Again, the best it's going to get with the new guy is in the very beginning. So don't ever think that you can change the outcome with this kind of guy. The tenth red flag is the ultra lazy first date suggestion. Hey, wanna come over? Um, we've never met. I know, we can meet at my place. I'm not comfortable with that. Fine, how about we grab a drink in the lobby bar of my building? You mean you'll even put pants on and travel all the way downstairs from me? <laughs> no, not now, not ever. If this boy wants your attention, he needs to work for it. Guys expect the bar set so low for them because no strong female figure showed them any differently. So be the change, show him the path, and kindly let him know that you're willing to meet halfway on a first date. So now, I wanna hear from you. What are some of your dating app horror stories with guys? Just let me know in the comments below. I know with this group, we always have great stories that are shared, so if it's your first time, don't be shy and you'll see me down there responding too. Also, don't forget to help me guide the creation of the content on this channel by filling out my five to 10 minute survey with a good email address for you at boyfriendblueprint.com survey. This information you're giving me is incredibly helpful to help me understand exactly what you're experiencing right now with men in relationships so I can help you address any potential issue. That's boyfriendblueprint.com slash survey. Ladies, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like below. Thanks so much for your comments and your survey responses. I'll see you all next week.